Our topic for today's presentation is the comparison of India and Singapore on the parameter of environment. As you can see, this shows us the natural beauty of our country, India. The natural beauty of Singapore are its botanical gardens, gardens by the bay, and the beautiful Sentosa beaches. India got its independence on 15th of August 1947, whereas Singapore on 9th August 1965. Both these countries got freedom from the British rule. We have chosen the parameter of environment for our comparison, under which we will be including the following subtopics like forest area, pollution, and carbon footprint. The forests in India occupy a total of seven lakh eight thousand two hundred and seventy-three square kilometers, of which only nine point one eight percent are the open forests, whereas Singapore has only two hundred hectares. Of forest land, of which two percent are their primary forests. Here we are showing a detailed comparison between India and Singapore on the different kinds of pollution present in the country. Pollution, pollution has become one of the most concerning issues these days. It takes place when pollutants contaminate the entire environment. In India, pollution is a serious health issue. Out of 30 most populated cities in the world, 21 are from India. Also, out of 20 highest cities contributing to the global warming, 13 are from India. From this, we can come to know about what is the level of pollution in India. In India, most of the pollution is due to the construction and the dust. Carbon footprint. Carbon footprint is the amount of carbon emissions by a human activity. it can be caused due to an individual or a family an event an organization or an entire nation in india 3 gigatons of carbon is released annually and in singapore 10.31 tons of carbon is released annually in india the pollution level is really very high carbon footprints can be reduced by planting more trees using renewable energy sources using public transport instead of private vehicles and using bicycle or walking for short distances because there is no planet b and we need to save our living planet economic development that is conducted without depletion of natural resources from the 17 sustainable development goals yes and mary are taking into consideration goal number 13 14 and 15 now we will see our vision that we as an activism with and how will be achieved under the sustainable development goal climate action our envision is to reduce indoor air pollution let's breathe free air there are many indoor air pollutants like aerosols nitrogen dioxide etc so to reduce indoor air pollutants we have so many indoor air pollutant plants out of which we have planted yellow bottle money plant and spider grass in our school garden as and when these plants grow we place them in our classroom windows and also distribute some of them to the neighboring school this gives fresh air in classrooms and oxygen level also increases this small step will lead to globalization our second end vision under sustainable development goal life under water is cleaner beaches it is essential to create awareness about cleaning beaches so that the life under water is safe we should really like to involve campaigns like beach cleaning drives in the new education policy and students should be given marks for their service thus creating social awareness so that the life under water is safe and nature's beauty is maintained we marians have participated in many beach cleanup drives like the mahim beach clean up and girgacha party under the sustainable development goal life on land our envision is to reduce multi layer packaging use landfills also create hazards as we are unaware of the harmful packaging multi layer plastic has layers of metal oxide that take longer time to degrade and emit harmful gases and causes health hazards to the people living near the landfills and also the rock pickers as a step taken by our school we segregate all the packets and give to a renowned source that is mumbai sustainability center 
under the Safai Bank program, we have given approximately 22,000 MLPs. This is a small step taken by us in creating awareness that can lead to globalization, thus giving better life for the future generation and a better place okay. to live in and sustaining the nature's beauty. So let Memalihara Nisarga. Memalihara is a Malay word for nurture. So let's nurture environment. And yes, it's of course a yogi Thank you for being a good audience.